You know, which is so great. Thank you. But I'm going to force my child to watch it as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think maybe that's why, because it's just sort of moving from generation to generation now. And the brown coats just will let it die. Which is great. We love you. It's awesome. Awesome. Um, let's see. Oh, we've got fan questions here. Let's go here. Hi. I'm actually here with my dad back there, and the two favorite shows absolutely his that he cannot live without are Castle and Big Bang Theory. So I thought, I was wondering if you guys could share uh, your stuff about guest starring on those two shows that you guys did. Yeah. Do you want to yeah. go first? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll go first. Okay, um, first. Uh, I was I was so happy to make it on the castle. Um, finally, after I've been hounding him for years. Yeah, I did too. Yeah, I was like, what gives? I felt loved, and of course, I showed up on the first day of work, and he scared the bejesus out of me. And I was like, something's never changed. Like, he hid behind the trailer and scared me. So I, I seemed like a crazy person that no one had met me yet. And I'm really not crazy in real life. Um, so it was, it was. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. I had a really, really good time. Um, and, and Big Bang Theory, I was actually pretty nervous because I'd never done a comedy, a sitcom that was set up that way. Um, and, and those guys are at the top of their game. They're really, really professional and, and um, very prepared. And I definitely felt like the, I actually felt like the geeky stalker. <laughs> it was a reversal, but I, 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 I'm honored to have been there for a short time and, and um, just, uh, I, I just, I think it's, it's so cool that you can go anywhere in the world and turn on your TV and there will, Big Bang Theory will be on <laughs> somewhere. Um, I had a great time on Castle because I got to play a bad guy and that's awesome. Um, but the weirdest thing for me was seeing Nathan in a suit because he doesn't wear them. <laughs> um, yeah, so when he walked on set in his character wardrobe, I was like, you look good. You clean up really nicely. Um, yeah, it's a weird thing when you when you're friends with somebody, you get to know them really well, and then you're on set with them and they're playing a character. It just kind of like throws you off a little bit. But yeah, it was super fun and you know joked around and had a lot of laughs and that was fun. Thank you. Okay. Hello, I love watching you in Firefly, and I'm one of the ones that I. <laughs> I brought my daughter into the show, so she likes it now, too. But my question for you is, if we had been able to have more seasons of Firefly, where would you have liked to see your character go? <laughs> question people really... They love this question because they want it to live on. <laughs> I, I don't know. I wanted Simon and Kaylee to have babies, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I was doing a convention with Sean a, a while back, and we got this question asked, and he said the same thing. He, he did? Said, and River could babysit. And he was like, no, she no. couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Terrible idea. <laughs> I love that he said the same thing. Cutest. If um, if Joss came to you and was like, we're rebooting it, we want to redo it, would you do it? Well, yes. No. Yeah, you can say no, because if we said no, that would mean some other actress is playing our part. I'm not cool with that. <laughs> do you know what I mean? That would be real, that would be a lot, a lot of therapy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you would have to say yes, and of course, you know, we all really genuinely like each other um, and like spending time together, so I'm... Um, we still do. Yeah, yeah. we still do. We strong. still like each other. <laughs> um, so yeah, you know, of course. Of course. Thank you. Over here. What's your favorite episode? Oh. 
<laughs> Good question. Summer. Objects in space. <laughs> Objects in space? Yeah. That's a good one. I like out of gas. Yes, that's that one is that one was really special for us as a group. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I I I love that one. It makes me cry a little bit. Yeah. I just think, I think the story really bonded us together. At least, it, that's how it felt for me. Mm -hmm. I, I felt like um, when we were shooting it, uh, I, have, I have a lot of really good memories of the, just uh, some powerful scenes together. And um, I think that story in particular, it just, just it, it is very symbolic of, of our experience. You know, making it through together, and um, and so yeah, it was very sentimental for me. Objects in space is my favorite because it it kind of represents the the dream of becoming an actress. What felt like overnight for me, and and to feel like being on set was was a dream, and uh, it was the only episode where I worked every day. You know, I'm such a supporting member. And I didn't have, I didn't always have a lot to do in every episode, and I didn't want to go home. I mean, I had a tiny little apartment in the valley, and I didn't have anything else to do. I just wanted to be there, and uh, so it was the it was the one episode where I worked every day, and Joss directed, which was so much fun, and uh, so that one's particularly special to me as well. Thank you. Do you guys remember a scene in particular that was? very hard to get through, either emotionally or physically, like a specific scene that you guys as a group or even individually was was difficult? I don't really remember any of them being difficult. Honestly. I laughed too much those yeah. times. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. It was a really fun job. It was like a too good to be true job, to be honest. Um, but we... We were all genuinely having a good time, especially when we realized that we were the underdog uh, at the network and really um, started to relish what we had and not take it for granted um, because the, the feeling was that it could be yanked out from underneath us at any given day. We were all kind of waiting for the cancellation, which is, you know, sort of a sucky feeling, um, waiting for, you know, Someone to come and tell you that you've lost your job. Um, but in a way, it just sort of kicked the fun up a notch because we were all like, who cares? Let's have a good time here. Let's, you know, enjoy this while we have it. And then when we did the movie, it was this, you know, amazing sense of justification. And it was also so relaxed because we could have the same amount of fun and enjoy ourselves and have the same inside jokes and all that all, all over again. But this time we weren't afraid of losing our jobs. You know what I mean? Because we knew, they in the, yeah, we knew in the beginning of the shoot was, the middle and the end was. So we could really just relax. And that was the most fun. But in terms of being difficult, was, I don't know, maybe that, you know, the, the scene we shot with the fake snow? That sucked. <laughs> I didn't like that. It tastes like soap. It's gross. It's your hair. It stinks. Jamestown shooting that was a bit gross. It was super hot. It was so hot out and muggy and we were in the mud and you know, that that was kinda gnarly. But we were still laughing our heads off, so we really did have a good time. What about the pink dress? Was it comfortable to wear? No, it was not. <laughs> oh no. It's like wearing a birthday cake. <laughs> For the first ten minutes it's fun. And then you have to pee and you're like, oh no. <laughs> I can't pee in this dress, or sit down, or do anything. Um, yeah, so there's, there's a scene in, in that episode, uh, once we get back to the ship and um, Mark Shepard's character, Badger, has taken over, and you'll notice that I start off in the dress and then it cuts and it comes back and I'm back in my regular overalls. And it was because I sweet talked Joss into letting me change. And he was like, that doesn't make any sense though for the story. Why would Badger let you take off and go change and come back? And I was like, I don't care, please. <laughs> so I used my feminine wiles on him. <laughs> got to change. 
There you go. That's a little tidbit for you to take that home. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, are we over here? Yeah. Okay, Summer. Um, would, what are your thoughts on a um, firefly coming back but just centering so like firefly to river. You know, and so it's like river now. River and bowl. Um well my I never thought about this before really. Um because I I as as much as I would love for the show to come back because it was such an extraordinary experience and because we have the, the, the best fan base in the world, obviously. Um, I worry because because it means so much to so many people and I don't know if you can recapture something just in the same way. And oh, <laughs> um, and I'm I'm not really a I don't I'm not really a, a sequel person myself. Um, I'm just being honest. I really really respect what the show was, and yet I I I can't really exactly say what makes it so special, and uh, so I would worry to. To, uh, to try again, although I love how the comics have continued and the fan fiction has continued, and um, I think that's, that's uh, been really special for the fans. But um, yeah, I, I, I don't know, there's a part of me that really, I would not want to let anybody down, I guess. That's, that's fair. Let's talk about the Kaylee show. <laughs> <laughs> well, you ask what gets the staying power and stuff? What does the... Oh, okay. Right. Would you guys be fine with the Kaylee stone show? Yeah. I'm just saying I'm sorry. I'm right behind him for it. I was just sitting there. Amazing, but I think what you mean about it being difficult, so much of the show, I think what made it special was that you did care about all of those characters yeah. so much individually, 